Good morning, Reefers. I'm Daniel. This is Coralus, and today we're going to be building an underwater sand waterfall for the Bob Worm tank. Those of you who are a regular subscriber to this channel, you're probably just watching this video just because you like updates and whatnot. But if you're one of those people who is searching and want to build a sand waterfall or you're interested in the bobbit worm, um, then definitely check this video out. So I'm going to show you the tank right now. And we have several videos of old waterfalls and different things that we've built for our bobbit worm who everyone likes to tell me they like to dig in the sand. So let's check it out. So this is currently where the bobbit worm is residing. Um, we threw him in here, he's got a deep sand bed, and he's got his little cave, and he's hiding in that hole right there. So, it is a little boring, and we don't really get to see him, because he doesn't really come out till nighttime when we're all gone for the day. So, I'm going to redo this tank just like his old one, and make it a lot more interesting. So, it is a tall tank, it's narrow, so we got lots of um, room to work with for this waterfall. And I'm going to start off by showing you guys how we're going to build it and then I'll go from there. So this is just step one of the process, and I have lots of other updates for people, but this is for those of you who are just checking us out for the sand waterfall in the bobble worm tank. Um, you're gonna wanna learn how to build this. So you can see right away, this is my makeshift little contraption. Um, I had to do some modifications to the PVC just to get the pump to work and for the sand waterfall and the fluidized bed to work correctly. So this is a little tip, a little trick just to make it work out better for those of you who are going to want to try this at home. Um, and right away I'll just show you, I have this little thing sitting here, I think this was like from a Christmas decoration or something, um, and I just cut the bottom off to make a funnel. This is where the sand is going to get sucked into, and then this piece right here, you can see I made a slice on the side. That's where you insert, um, and if those of you who noticed the Simply Orange, this container wasn't left here by accident, but this is where you find the free plastic for your device. Um, you could buy a piece of acrylic or something, but this works fine. The water pressure holds, you can glue it in place, and it's really easy to cut with just a basic pair of scissors. So, really cool uh, DIY system. So you basically just need a hacksaw, bandsaw, whatever you guys can use, and just make a 45 degree cut right there. Then you're gonna cut the plastic and slide it into place. Now what that does for you is it creates a nice little like inductor injection for the sand without it clogging your pump. Because if all the sand falls in here and the power goes off, when it kicks back on, it's not trying to blow through one inch of sand. There's gonna be a little valve down the bottom where the water's jetting and picking up the sand. So that's gonna cause an extra high speed current because the diameter is going from half inch all the way down to probably like whatever 16th or an eighth I have right there. So, and that will cause the fluidized bed and the sand to carry up top and come out here. So once it comes out, it's just gonna keep falling back into the collection cup. Gravity is gonna do its job and it's gonna keep pumping around. So now how the pump doesn't get clogged is because we're using the pump before the sand gets pumped back in. So this is the little pump I have here and I got already the PVC attachments for the hose and this will get mounted on the 90 degree and I'm actually gonna suspend that pump in the air. And the nice thing about doing all that is not only do I have a controllable uh, thing that I can easily access for that pump if I wanna put out more sand or less sand, but I can also build it in because I'm using this really awesome, great stuff. This is the window and door expanding foam um, and this comes in handy when you're trying to build any aquascaping or anything. So we're gonna do a multiple layer process because I'm gonna finish this with Habitat Black and I'm gonna paint it just like I did with the other waterfalls in the past. So this is something that you're gonna wanna stick around for. I'm gonna do a test demo with it this time before I do all the painting and all the aquascaping stuff. But I'm gonna basically hook up the motor and put it over here for now. So I'll do a follow-up video. Those of you who are watching and actually are interested in this and wanna see what it turns out to be, you can definitely comment and message me. We'll give it an upgrade light. We'll probably do a little bit with the filter and get rid of all this stuff in here. So it will become a lot nicer environment for the sand waterfall, I mean for the bobbin worm with the sand waterfall. Last time he built his silk cocoon at the top and it was pretty interesting. So that was a very special tank indeed and I will have to post some other videos for those of you who are new subscribers and haven't seen any of the older stuff. 
so we do have 500 and something videos out there and it's a lot to go through and some videos are purely educational other videos are just me ranting so it really just depends on what you're looking for so out of over 5,000 subscribers I think we have like 200 and something people that watch routinely meanwhile other people are just chasing the help for like Seachem products or something like that or some Red Sea help or you know they have a question about a coral and they're just looking for a video to answer that question so algae is a problem and there's a lot of different problems that people have with their saltwater and freshwater tanks so like I said we try to give you guys a little bit of help of, of it all so in this video like I said it's just a prequel I guess to what we're gonna do in a little bit but if you like the DIY packages and you want to see us do more of this and you want to see how this great stuff turns out um, then stay tuned for more and make sure you comment and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button do so right now so you can um, stay connected with us and see future videos like this one so as always thanks for watching happy reefing until next time